Now we just went and covered in part one, the sun salutations, a nice little flow to warm you up. This part two is a continuation of more flows of how you can get your body moving in and out of stretches to really open up your muscles, release any type of tension, de-stress your body. There's so many benefits to doing flexibility and yoga hip training. So from the very bottom of his flag board, same incline, we're gonna keep it in a medium level and you can adjust that according to your flexibility and you can accommodate it. So Mark's gonna start out with a warrior one. So he'll place one foot onto the glide board. The back foot's gonna stay and remain on the floor. So his toes are slightly angled out. He reaches forward, creating a 90 degree angle of his leg. Now he's reaching up into the traditional warrior one. If that's too much for your shoulders or to uh, keep them overhead, you can always bring them to your, hand, uh, your shoulders or to your hips, whatever works for you. So he's holding this as an active stretch. So he can deepen into it. And then from there, he takes his hands down onto the glide board and takes that leg to the outside and onto the floor, bringing the glide board a little bit closer so you can drop the back knee and really lunge into his runner's lunge. So as you can see right now, he's lifting up through the chest, his back is elongated, his neck is lifting up, and he can add a little bit of a rotation into his spine. So same arm, same leg, he's gripping into that leg so he can either open up through the hip or he can push the knee in towards the glide board and twist his body into it to get that rotation of his spine. So you can kind of play with this motion. All right, and the next move, he stays right there, he adjusts his body and brings it into a straight leg hamstring stretch. So right from here, his back knee is on the glide board to give it a little bit of that support, toes are on the floor to keep your body in place. You can really feel that in through the back of the hamstring and his toes are pressed back so that you can really feel that stretch into the calf as well. From right here, he makes it into the next movement, which is a pigeon pose. <laughs> pigeon pose is something we all need. We need to open up through those hips. So the knee is angled towards the same arm. You can do uh, whatever feels best for you in this position. And with the glide board, Mark, you can open and close it just to kind of move through that position, letting the glide board uh, move you through different ranges of motion. You can drop your body down closer towards the glide board, hanging over that leg, however you want to stay there, but you want to really breathe into it. Then our next movement, we go into the transition, which is just a child's pose. He's going to close the glide board, hold onto the very top of his hand, reaching and pulling away so he can feel the stretch through the shoulders, opening up through that lower back as he sinks his hips down towards the heels. And you can move your body into any position because it's all about exploring the motion. Now he's ready to start the whole thing on the other side. So we'll go through it one more time. So he takes the other leg onto the glide board, foot is facing straight ahead, the back foot is angled out to the side, both heels and feet are flat as he slides into the pose. So he has to really gaze and keep his focus so that he stays balanced on an open glide board. Right from here, he moves those arms down to the glide board and he finds that runner's lunge. So the foot transitions to the floor, the back knee comes down onto the glide board to really accommodate that flexibility. So you move into it, shifting forward and back. You can add that little rotation into the knee so he stretches through the spine, you can open up through the hips. So wherever your body feels it needs a little stretch, just experiment, yep. And then right from there, he takes it into a hamstring stretch. So he bends that back knee, straightens the front, pulls the toes back, He's feeling that flexion in through the foot and then through the calf muscle, really going up through the leg. Again, moving through the positions of the glide board and your body, just accommodating it. We take that down into our pigeon stretch, so the leg comes across. You have to just kind of use your upper body to use your core and position yourself. And again, he can move and point and flex his back foot so that the glide board moves and he can change that angle of where he feels the stretch. And then right from here, he just goes right back into that transition of child's pose. So, Mark, how do you feel from this position? <laughs> Not bad, I, right? It feels really good. Now, having the, the glide board, um, it allows me to kind of test how flexible I am or how I feel that day. And so this time, like with the pigeon pose, um, yeah, I kind of started on a lower and then I kind of pushed it into the, pushed into the glide board. So I got a deeper stretch from that. So having a total gym was pretty good. No, give me a normal oh. one. Yeah. You get to look cool when I look like a jackass. And, and I know that's by design. Like, let me look cool, and then you go over there and like swan dive. <laughs>